Okay, so let's go to um, the next topic. So go um, from the basic integrals, we now go to the next type of integrals, which is the transcendental functions. So um, there are a lot of different types of transcendental. So these are the trigonometric, the inverse trigonometric, hyperbolic, and the exponential functions. So I think that you are not um, new to this because in your differential calculus, so you also have the counterpart of the derivatives for these one, right? So for example, uh, inverse trigonometric, so you're going to have this derivative, um, 1 over u squared plus a squared, right? And then the, I mean, balide, so let's say the derivative of arc tangent is equal to this one, right? So in integral, the reverse of it is when you start from this form, you will have the arc tangent answer. <clears throat> Same goes for the other formulas, especially the hyperbolic and the exponential. So let's start tackling first your trigonometric functions. So these are the different formulas for your trigonometric integrals. So I think some of these are familiar, especially getting mga number one. So one, two, and then the tangent. <clears throat> and the cosecant na mga formulas kaning 7 to 10. Because I think cotangent is just the opposite of tangent integral, diba? this one, number 4. And then I think in the derivatives for number 5, so we don't have any derivative for second u, diba? but we have a derivative for um, another form of it. So these are just additional formulas if you try to search on different um, references or books. So usually the main formulas that you are about to see in uh, major books is So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, then 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I hope you um, memorize those formulas um, by heart. So as of now, probably you may not memorize it, but um, sooner or later, so especially when you go to the board exam, so it's important that you know the formulas by heart because it's also important in the next subject, which is differential equations. Okay. <clears throat> so let's try to answer eight examples for this session. And afterwards, I'll be giving you another set of um, equations for you to answer as your assignment. So I think I'm going to give you about 15 um, problems for you to answer for this topic. So we're going to answer eight. So let's start off with the first example. So we have the integral of cotangent x dx. So as per formula, so I think we, we can already answer this one directly, but for example, um, you forgot the, um, the specific formula for this integral. So you may break it down even further. So cotangent, as we know, is um, cosine x over sine x, right? So you may break it down into this format. So you're going to have the integral of cosine x over sine x dx. So next step is we're going to make this into a basic formula, which we have learned last week. So you may let u equal to something, or um, you may let u equal to cosine x, or let u equal to sine x. So for us not to be 
um, confused so let's try to change the color of the ink first so what I mean is we let you be equal to one of the functions presented above so it might be cosine x or sine x so if we have u so we're going to get its derivative because we're going to replace um, the parameters shown above for it to become a simpler um, equation so let's try um, putting in sine x so if we let you assign x so the derivative of sine is cosine right as per differential calculus so that's going to be cosine x um, dx so why so why is it uh, dx so actually in its um, form jud sa inyong um, derivatives so it's going to be du over dx diba and then you derive the given function so that's cosine x so for the sake of isolate ang du um the purpose of which is um later on you're going to find out that um mas maayo nga dito na lang ang dx sa other side kay para makita ninyo ang pag replace sa mga functions inside the equation so muna may mo siyang du is equal to cosine x dx <coughs> So as you can see, so don't change color again. So as you can see, the sine x here in the denominator will become the u parameter. And then cosine x dx, which is the numerator term. So of course, apelicia riba because it's multiplication cosine x dx so this will represent your du okay so this will give us a new equation a new basic equation which is du all over u diba? And again, as per basic formula, this is just the ln formula. So this gives us ln u plus c. So don't forget the plus c because we are integrating um, indefinite integrals. So this is not yet the final answer because you have not changed back the parameter of u. So the final answer would be ln sine x plus c all right so that will be our final answer so pwede siya ma-answer diba using just the basic formulas so any questions or clarifications <clears throat> so I guess there's none so what if we try to do the replacement in a, in a wrong manner so let's try to um, see if we can still get the same answer so for example so there is let's say our u is cosine x Then our derivative for u, so d over dx is equal to, so that will be negative sine x, diba? And your du is equal to negative sine x dx. So notice that, um, let's, uh, let's say this is the equation. So notice that we, so we can change this as your u parameter, but notice that the other parameter is dx over sine x. And what we got from our derivative is 
negative sine x dx. So meaning we cannot replace it in that manner because dili siya tugma, diba? It's not um, it cannot be replaced because it's not similar in format. Unlike earlier, so sine x is in the in the in the denominator, so we can replace that immediately. And then cosine x dx is can can also be seen in the equation. So that's why we can replace it immediately. So this one is we cannot do this method because again, um, once we reach um, the other term, so the only thing that you can replace is just the numerator, which is cosine x dx. And you cannot replace dx over sine x. So I think what you will encounter in most of the problems in the techniques of integration is that um, you're going to do a lot of um, trial and error method because you'll be discovering um, equations or you'll be discovering U sub techniques if those are applicable or not in your current um, problem. So if I so if I wasn't able to mention this in the previous video, so this is what you called as U substitution technique. So you can search this one in your Google or other online reference na book. So it's called U sub technique. U substitution. All right. So questions so far? <clears throat> Okay, so I think um, it's clear, man, right? So, sige lang, just enjoy the 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 ride, lang sa. So sooner or later, um, ang kaniya to ang one page of solution will become two pages for one problem because the um, the solution will become longer. All right, so let's go to. The next example, which is the integral of cosine x, um, cosine five x dx. Okay, so if you um if we if you're going to answer this directly, so the answer would be um integral of cosine is sine, right? Because the derivative of sine is cosine. So if you're going to answer this directly, this is going to be sine. 5x plus c, diba? So, murag, there's nothing wrong na, diba? That's not the answer, ani. But when we try to do the, the, the reverse process, when we try to verify our answer, so, I think I mentioned in the previous video, so if not, so, one way of verifying your answer is, once you get your final answer, is that you're going to derive it, the final answer, and see if the given final answer will go back to the given equation. So that's how you verify your answer. But sooner or later, when you go to the difficult integrals, um, deriving the final answer will, will become also become tedious. So I think it's only recommended for basic integrals. Okay, so again, if you try to derive sine 5x so let's try to so if you try to derive this one so the derivative of this one of sine x 5x plus c so derivative of sine 5x is cosine 5x right so don't forget that we're going to get the derivative of the angle as per your differential calculus, diba? So cosine five x, then the derivative of the angle five x is only five. Then derivative of the constant, so constant is any number, so that will be zero. So 
the final answer would be 5 cosine x cosine 5x. So notice that 5 cosine 5x is not the given equation above. It's only cosine 5x. And then there is we have the 5 numerical value. Diba? So meaning our answer is not correct. So how are we going to um, make this correct? So notice that when we go back to our um, given formulas. So the integral of cosine u du is equal to sine u plus c. So notice that the equation, the coefficient of the angle is 1, diba? Right? So the coefficient here is also 1. So meaning, um, it's completely ignored, diba. Right? So these are the basic formulas presented in major books. Diligyo katong moragi derived from BS Mathematics nga formula. So if you try to refine this even further, let's say we have a specific coefficient of the angle. So let's say A being the coefficient of the angle, du. The real formula for this one is 1 over A sine AU plus C. So that would be the formula. So muna siya ang real formula jud sa all um, trigonometric integrals. But again, for the sake of simplicity, para wala kayo yung mga hunahunaon sa mga coefficient and for the formula to be um, marag pleasing to the eye, so mostly books are using kanang mga standard equations nga walay coefficients ang angle. So if you try this one, so the answer would be, so again, 1 over A. So our A being the coefficient of the angle. So if you try to look at the angle, that's 5x. So this is A. And of course, this will become the U part. Diba? So tugma-tugma rin na ang yung bahaton sa formula, diba? Yung tanawon which part will reflect with the formula. So 1 over A, that's 1 over 5. Then we're going to have sine 5x plus c. So this will be the answer. So now if you try to get a derivative, So d over dx, and then one-fifth sine 5x plus c. So this will give us derivative of one-fifth. So this will become product rule, okay, one-fifth times the sine 5x. So this become one-fifth cosine 5x, then the derivative of the angle times 5 plus sine 5x times 0, then plus 0. So again, this one will become u, this, will, this one will become v. So that's why it's u dv, katong, I think it's the product rule sa inyohang derivatives, u dv plus v du. So, mga taas kayo siya, diba? And then plus 0, which is the derivative of the constant. So, that's why this one can cancel out because it's multiplied by 0. This one is also 0. So, 1 fifth times 5, that's 1. So, the final answer is cosine 5x. So, notice that it's in the given equation. So, meaning your answer is correct. Okay, so any questions for um, this example? Okay, 
Okay, so I think there's no question. So let's try to move on with the next example. So now we have the integral of sine x minus cosine x divided by sine x dx. So let's try to answer this one. So notice that these two, um, the numerator can be divided into two sets of fractions. So this one can represent as one fraction and then the other one can represent another fraction. So this becomes the integral of sine x over sine x minus cosine x over sine x dx. So sine x divided by sine x, that would be the integral of 1 minus, this one is cotangent, right? Cotangent x dx. So we're going to use the property of the integral, which is is distributive property. So integral here and then integral there. So integral, get the integral per term. So the integral of, so in basic format, um, if, you're, if you do this in a basic manner, so you're going to um, try to show us or show me two, diff, two sets of different integrals. So one is, so distribute integral, distribute dx also. So this would be integral of dx and then minus the integral of cotangent x dx. So mona siya. Okay, so the integral of dx, the integral of any constant is x, and then minus, so from example number one, so this will be ln of sine x plus c. So this will be the answer. So I think nakadugay, nakasayo na siya understand it because um, easy na kayo ang mga kuan, ang mga examples. So I also, since we are still starting with the basic integral, so muna marag easy pa siya tanahon. But later on, marag magpatong-patong na siya because there will be integrals wherein there are mixed functions. So trigonometric plus hyperbolic na na siya. Okay, so I think one tip here is that, for example, um, this is the other way around, sine x over sine x minus cosine x. So you cannot split this into two parts because that's, that, because again, um, the denominator is sine x minus cosine x and you only have one term in the numerator. So the tip here is that you can only split the fractions if if the numerator has many terms. If the numerator has um, greater than one term, yeah. Okay. So the um, denominator, the book na siya, din siya mapili mabuwag. Only the numerator can be separated with uh, the same denominator. All right. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, so I think we don't have any questions. So let's try to solve number four now. So we have the integral of z plus 2 dz divided by cotangent z squared plus 4z minus 3. So here is, since we have a lot of different terms going on, so we're going to use the u substitution here. So the purpose of the u sub, u substitution, is for you to um, is for you to create a simpler equation. So from complicated going towards a simpler version of the equation given. So from complicated to simple, that's the ultimate goal of the U sub. Okay, para when it becomes simple, so you can all, you can now reflect it with the formulas being presented. So for example, in the given equation above, so we can see that the complicated part is the quadratic term, which is z squared plus 4z minus 3. And of course, we don't want that complication also present in one of the angles sa inyohang um, triangle function, di ba? So this one. So we're going to let this one as your u parameter. So u is equal to z squared plus 4z plus 3. So getting the derivative of du. So, you, so the, the, the steps in u sub is you try to replace the complicated part as your u parameter and then next is we go um, you're going to derive it so derive uh, derivation for this one is z squared the next term is 4z so derivative of 4z is just 4 derivative of 3 is 0 so you're going to have 2z squared plus 4 So a whole shortcut, I'm going to put dz here. So again, if maglibog mo, so this is coming from du over dz. And then I just multiply dz to the right side of the equation. That's why it's now du is equal to 2z squared plus 4 dz. So next is if it so question so question ah 2z day sorry sorry sakto day so this one is 2z so so thank you for that enrique um Where's the pen? Okay. So, kanda it's two z day. So, ako yung ako yung nakalimot sa katong derivatives. So katong power rule. So n u to the power of n minus one. So sakto de. Okay. So if you try to look at the equation, so we have a term here, which is z plus two dz. And our term here is 2z plus 4. So we can create it in a manner that it's similar to the numerator presented above. So you're going to have, so you can factor out 2. So this will be 2 plus z plus 2 and then dz. So notice that we still have the two parameter on the right side. So for us to completely isolate z plus 2 dz, so we can divide everything by 2. And then our final format for our du is du over 2. It's now a fraction. And the right side is z plus 2 dz. 
so this term here is now your u parameter and then this term here is your du over 2 so in in the new format in the simple format now this will give us the integral so notice that our z plus 2 dz is now du over 2 so du over 2 then divided by cotangent u diba? so you can always take the constant outside the equation so you're going to have one half integral of du cotangent u so i think one over cotangent is tangent function so this will give us tangent u du so again sa mga naglibog it's du divided by cosine u over sine u so muna pag reverse it gives you sine u over cosine u and that will be tangent u du so as per formula so of course this is negative one half ln of um, cosine u plus c and then bring back the value of the u parameter so this will give us the final answer of negative one half ln of cosine z squared plus 4z plus 3 plus c so this will be the final answer so again diba mag um magkadugay magkalisod na ang answer so if you want to verify that your answer is correct so medyo dako siya og trabaho diba you need to derive ln cosine of z squared plus 4z plus 3 pero kana siya is medyo makaya pa siya but later on murag di na siya makaya because it's super complicated na all right so questions for this example hello Okay, um, question. Okay, sige. Mm. LN second U. Atong i-check ha. Ah, okay. So, kanay mong gikoa na answer kanang um, tangent u, no? du. Then, your formula is ln second u plus c, di ba? So, this one is another format of the answer. So, if you try to um, integrate, so, our formula is negative man, di ba? ln cosine u plus c. So, if you're going to follow the properties of logarithms, so, this one is the exponent of the cosine, diba? So, this will become... So, if you want to um, eliminate the negative sign, so this will become 1 all over cosine u. Okay, mahimo man siyang koan. Ah, let's try it in this area lang. So, if we eliminate the negative sign, I mean the the minus sign, and 
so this is the exponent of the function diba? of the term inside the logar of the natural logarithm so this becomes cosine u to the power of negative 1 plus c so that's why this becomes ln of 1 all over cosine u plus c and then 1 over cosine is second diba? so that's why another format of this one is ln second u plus c so pwede rin po siya inana sa Okay, so another question coming from Kisamani. Ah, sige. Mm. Ah, it's minus na. Minus na siya. Minus. So let me try to correct it. Usually, kay tungod na sa kadaghan ba? So I think that would also be your um, what you need to look out for later, especially in the exam. Okay, kana tungod sa kadaghan, so probably makalimot mo of the signages. Okay, so any further questions? Okay, so I think there's none. Huh? So let's proceed with the next example. So this time is we have the integral of cosine of ln 4x squared all over x dx. So again, we're going to use the u sub here to eliminate complicated terms. So mag-try lang ko use of mga different colors ha, para dali nyo masubay ba. So as you can see here, the complicated term here is the angle of the cosine, which is ln 4x squared. So let the complicated term be the u parameter. This will be ln 4x squared. So getting the derivative of u, so again, in basic terms, this will be du over dx. So as per um, formula of ln, so the derivative of ln is du over u, diba? So the derivative of this one, 4x squared, which is 8x all over 4x squared. So eliminating 1x because it's a common term in the numerator and in the in the denominator. So we're going to have so 1x and then this one is to the power of 1. So you have so, um, so you can also simplify 8 and 4. So this one is 1 and then this one is 2. So we're going to have 2 over x. Alright. So multiply dx to the other side. So you're going to have du is equal to 2x, 2 over x dx. So notice that in the given equation above, you can only replace dx over x and in our derivative in the lower part of the u sub we have 2 over x so we need to divide everything by 2 first for for us to isolate dx over x so divide everything by 2 so you now have du over 2 and then the right side is dx over x so i hope that you are not confused on this part on dividing terms in fractions because I think the master na sa dinyo ang fractions from your high school and in your senior high. Alright? So So again, if we want to track our u sub, so this one is our u parameter 
and then this one is our du parameter so this becomes the integral of cosine u so dx over x so that will be times du over 2 so notice that our equation has now become simpler we have achieved the objective of the u sub technique so this is one half integral of cosine u du so again you can just factor out the constant and deal with the constant later on with the final answer so this one is a basic formula so the final answer is one half times sine u plus c so don't forget to bring back the value of the u parameter so this is sine u and then ln of 4x squared plus c so this will be the five oops sorry so this will be the final answer all right questions okay so i think there's no question okay so let's try to proceed with this example <clears throat> so, th so this time is we're going to have this um example so you're going to have cosine squared um cosine one half of x squared dx so notice that the squared term here is in the cosine function it's not on the angle so usually when you try to represent exponents in your trig functions so um cosine let's say cosine squared x is the same as cosine x and then squared so that's why it's safer for you to read the whole function first and then the last part is the exponent so especially when you write um, these expressions so dapat if squared siya uh, if squared and trig function so the exponent should be at the side of the trig function dili sa angle because if you're going to represent it in this manner cosine x squared so meaning the angle is being part of the angle diba dili siya as the whole trigonometric function so this one is not equal to this one okay so I hope that you see the see the see the um see the difference in the equations. Okay, so, um usually muna siya ang wrong sa mga students before. Um what I observe is that if inana siya, if inani ang given equation, they always try to make it in this manner. Na murag equal siya sa murag square ang whole property ba. Ang trig ang ang trig function. So if you want to um koan be mindful of this one so kanira dyan yung timanan so parentheses are your friend in equations so muna, ma, important kayo ang pag place sa mga parentheses okay so in this example so we can say that this one is we can rewrite this one as cosine one, one half of x and then squared dx all right so our problem here is um medyo lisod ta because we have the exponent a uh, two and we don't have any formulas for cosine x squared so we do have formulas for um the integral of second squared we also have the formula for integral of um 
cosecant squared x, di ba? But we don't have any formula for cosine um, squared x. Now, if you remember your your um, trigonometry in your high school, or let's say probably you have advanced trigonometry in senior high, so for sure nga uh, nakalearn mo sa different types of trigonometric identities, di ba? So daghan kayo siya, di ba? So for us to be able to answer this one, so we're not going to use u sub to make things simpler, but we're going to use trigonometric identities. So if you recall, daghan kayo di ba? Atong Pythagorean identity, atong mga double angle, di ba? Katong sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. Mga inana na mga, na mga equations ba? So, we're going to go back or we're going to look into those identities. Okay, para maka-answer tani. So, if you look at the formula. So, if you try to look at this one or in this one. So, you, might, so you may not see it at the first because again... Probably nakalimot na mo sa inyong identities, but this one is um, answerable by using the half angle identity. So notice that the angle is one half, di ba? So we're going to use the half angle identity. So if you're going to look it up in your search bar, so the formula for this one is, let's say if you have sine theta over 2, so this gives us the square root of 1 minus cosine um, 2 theta, uh, theta, day, theta all over 2. Alright, so muna siya ang inyong now, since our given equation above is cosine, so the other identity for this one is cosine theta over 2 is equal to the square root of 1 plus cosine theta all over 2. So we're going to use this equation. So of course, we're going to... Um, get the the familiar term first so half angle here is this one half angle also so this means that theta over 2 is equal to x over 2 right so notice that in the in the specific um, equation for the half angle identity so theta over 2 and then the counterpart of which is now theta so multiplying to the right side so this becomes theta is equal to 2x over 2 so theta is so cancel out 2 so theta is equal to x all right so let's try another color na said para makulay ang buhay Okay, so from this term, so merging our different terms from the identity, so you now have the integral of a square root of 1 plus cosine theta, so our theta is x, all over And then don't forget the squared sine dx. So notice square root, then to the power of 2 pajud, so this will cancel each other out. So what's left now is just the integral of 1 plus cosine x all over 2 dx. All right.
So we can now separate the two terms because our numerator has two terms. So we now have the integral. So you, so you may not um, literally create two integrals. Ang kato kanina is I just uh, did it for the sake of makita ninyo nga. You're going to do two separate integrals. So you may do, is, uh, do it in this fashion. If um, di na mo maglibog sa pag-answer sa inyong equations. Dx. And then afterwards is you get the derivative of each. I mean the the integral of each term. So integral of 1 half, that would be 1 half x. Then derivative of, I mean the integral of cosine x. So that would be 1 half plus sine x plus c. So ana siya. So kung di na maglibog, so you can di directly integrate the terms. Basta you integrate per term ha. So that would be the technique. Okay, so mas nilabad sa motno because you are now introduced with the the trigonometric identities for you to be able to answer the other functions, trig functions. So so I think ang inyong concern na put here is that when you look up with other books, so probably you will come across a different format for the half angle. So some books is that ang ilahang pag-show sa ilang half angle is that it's already the other way around. Without the radical, so it's sine squared theta over 2. And then the other side is 1 minus cosine theta over 2. So balig, multiply lang ang tanan o squared, I mean, g-squared tanan each side to eliminate the radical symbol. So, muna siya ang other representation of your half-angle identity. Alright, so questions or clarifications? So, two more examples. So, I think there's no question. So, let's try to proceed with the seventh example. So, this time is we still have this symbol sine squared 3x dx. So, integral of sine squared 3x dx. Right, so of course, if you um, this example is still half angle, so half angle gapon siya because of the format we saw earlier. So, of course, you can um, also use the katong mga kuan gani, katong the other formula sa mga squared squared, but. Um, I think it will just complicate matters sa equations. Okay. For example, um, di ba naman na siya counterpart na Pythagorean uh, equations? So, if you replace this one with 1 minus cosine squared 3x, so it will still get complicated, di ba? So, we, we're going to use half angle. So, again, if we try to um, use the formula, so this is sine so let's try it um, on the other format. So sine squared theta over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine x, I mean cosine theta, all over 2. So again, that's the same formula earlier but just without the radical symbol because we square the whole equation, di ba? So, muna ang squared na nandiri sa inyong sine function. And then, the radical symbol on the right side is wana po siya ay um, kuhaan sa square root kay tungod sa pag-cancel out sa, sa square, di ba? Okay, so let's try to 
So again, this one is the squared. Squared. This one is 3x, and it will represent the half angle, theta over 2. Okay? So, theta over 2 is equal to 3x. Now, multiplying 2 to the other side, so you're going to have theta is equal to 6x. So this one is theta. All right. So transforming the complicated equation into a simple, into a simple one. So we're going to have the integral of one minus cosine. So our theta here is six x, six x all over two dx. So, um, integrating the two terms, or kani siya, para na ako, since maglibog man ko sa mga integration ani, kay naman ko yung numerical coefficient of my cosine angle. So I'm, go so, I'm going to do this separately. So, I'm going to have 1 half dx, and then minus 1 half integral of cosine 6x dx. So again, it's preference if you want to do it directly or you want to do it step by step. So sa koa in this manner or in this case, I want it to do step by step because I want to make sure that I'm able to multiply the the integral of the aning numerical coefficient sa yung cosine angle. Diba? So this becomes one half x and then minus so one half so again that's one over a that will be one over the coefficient of the angle so this will be times one six then integral of cosine is sine six x plus c so the final answer is one half x minus one over twelve sine 6x plus c. Alright? So that's the final answer. So again, um, the technique that you will do later on, whether it's shortcut or not, expanded form, will depend on the situation that you're going to have. So try to gauge it whether or not you need to do it in um, let's say minus one a step or you need to put in two more steps for you to be able to make sure that your answer is really correct. Okay. So questions or clarifications? Okay, so we have a question. Some in a grace of hand. Okay, Ayan. Mm. Koan, one minus cosine theta na siya. But in other books, so napul na siya yung other kind of format. So napul yung other books nga sine squared u. And then one minus cosine. Na, parang ano po dito ng libro sa pagapresent sa ilang formula. Kana mag maglaylay mago dito ng pag ang mga libro gud. Depende na sa author gyan sa ilang pagpresent sa ilang mga formulas. So mo na di matagabot sa mga author gud gyan sa ilang pagkawan. So kana siya same kaya panasya kay example if our u here is three x. Ah, uh, taktoba. Three uh, x. So our two u is um six x, na ba? So same gapon siya. 
na marag, marag maglibog lang mo no kay ini ka search mago ninyo sa mga formulas online dagdagan siya version na nya basi nya mo contradict sa ako ang gitudlo di ba but kana pare pareha na sa mga dagway tanan kanang ko ana siya needs a lot of deciphering because you are tra transitioning from one format to another format okay so questions so um further questions Okay, so I think there's none. So let's try to proceed with a final example. So kanisha medyo madugo na siya. So we have the integral of sine 3x cosine 5x dx. So notice that we cannot directly make use of the u sub because first, first and lastly, the angles are of different values so we have sine 3x the other one is cosine 5x so if both have similar angles so probably mas dali atong kinabuhi di ba we can directly do the u sub we can let let's say we can let sine be u and then du be cosine u du di ba mas dali siya but since we have this case, we have different values of angles, so we're going to use another type of identity. So if you try to recall the kanang inyong koan, inyong mga trig identities, so natin itawag nga product to sum or sum to product nga identity. Diba? So if we're going to use the product to sum, so let me try to change color lang sa. So product to sum. So product to sum identity. So if you try to look it up on your search bar, so it's going to be sign Um, a cosine b and then equal to one half sorry I can any so it's going to be sine so let's try to sine a b and then plus cosine a minus B. So, ako lang yung bracket ta kay. The next, the next, kuhan sa parenthesis is bracket man. Um, kuhan din siya, sign. Sakto no, sign no? Okay, sign. So, the other way around also is, Kung ganaan mo mag sum to product sa na sum to product identity. So, ayang version po is line po siya nga version. So, the other way around na siya. So, you're going to have sine A plus B plus sine A minus B and then this is going to be 2 sine a cosine b marag ana ra po siya marag marag balira sa kanang kuan sa sa isa ka is uh, minsa isa ka equation pero i think uh, din na siya mao ang pagakuha na ang pag present sa angle na na siya ay other arang i mean sakto nga format i think Kuhan siya ka ng... Kalimot mo ko sa kuhan na. Basta ka ng... Pili siya the other way around. Basta kuhan siya. Kibaw lang mo sa pag-place sa mga... Sa mga angles. Or pag-declare sa mga... Angles inyo nga A and B. 
But for now, it's we're going to use the product to sum uh, identity because it's more um, logical because you're given a product trig function in the equation. Diba? Sine times cosine. So product and then we're going to make the sum da yun. So 3x, this becomes our A angle. So represented by this one, by the formula. Then next is our B angle, which is 5x. 5x, uh, B day, B, and then 5x. So next is we're going to have this A plus B term here. So A plus B is we're going to have 3 plus 5, that will be 8x. The next one is A minus B. This will be um, 3 minus 5 is negative 2x. All right? <clears throat> So next is, we're now going to replace it with the counterpart uh, function, the product to some identity. So let's try to use the green color. So this is going to be one half. So you can immediately take out one half outside the equation. Kung di mo kanaan mag deal sa one half, then you're going to have sine. So that's going to be 8x plus sine negative 2x. Excuse me. All right. So this one is, you can distribute one half. So again, I want to do um, I want to expand it further okay, okay, since we're going to have coefficients on the angle so much better uh, safe mo in multiplying those fractions so we're going to have one half the integral of sine 8x then plus one half so para sa mga sure ninyo nga uh, ang one half is for each term po siya niba? then sine negative 2x. So, na na dx, yeah? dx, and then dx. Okay, so, if you want to eliminate the negative angle sa kanayin yung kuan, sa inyong angle sa sine function, so, there's what we call as, um, I think, sa itong uh, kuan, katong co-function identity, wherein, if you have a negative angle, so, you can just take the negative um, angle outside the kanangkuan equation. So instead of this one, may mo siyang um, ako liswat balik ha? One half sine 8x dx. <clears throat> so again, for you to eliminate the negative symbol, this becomes one half. And then the negative symbol here is now on the sine function. Sine 2x dx. So again, ano na mo siyang negative sign. So just try to search for co-function identity. Na. All right. So we now we can now integrate. So you have one half times one over eight. Then the integral of sine is negative cosine. So, so it's a, so this will be negative negative cosine eight x. So plus then minus this will become minus one half times one half then the integral of 
um, sine is again negative cosine 2x plus c. So the final answer is one over 16, so negative one over 16, cosine eight x, and then minus, and then minus, so minus here, and then minus here, so this will become plus one fourth cosine two x plus c. So this is your final answer. All right. So daghan na kayo mga kuano. So wala siya. I think you need to um, revisit your different kinds of identities okay, para at least kanang kuan. So pilitan mo mag-print. But ayan niyo papilit likod sa inyong laptop ha. Um, for reference kay para dili mo magsigi og um, search sa inyong search bar or sa inyong search engine. Okay, so questions, clarifications, um, violent reactions, confusion. So you may raise them now. Hello? Okay, so since you don't have any further question, so again, this is the different identities that you need to look into. So I think th these will be helpful later on when transforming complicated trig functions into its simpler version. And that simpler version will lead you to the basic formulas.